It looks like you have all determined that our convocation theme for this year is engagement. Oh, oh my God, Emily, I don't have I'm so sorry. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, it just takes forever to put this thing on. Dusty? Yeah. What are you doing? Well, I, I thought this was a wedding-themed presentation. Engagement? Oh, who's getting engaged? <laughs> Hopefully not professors to their students. Yeah, it's not a, I, won't tell, I won't tell anyone if you don't. So, do you still need my help? Yeah, but maybe not in that dress. I'll go get changed. Yeah, you do that, okay? Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> to recover from that very uncomfortable non sequitur, you shot my wheels off, Dusty. Um, several of our work groups have prepared some skits that are going to show you how they engage students um, on campus, in the classroom, in student services, in order to reinforce our convocation theme of engagement. Okay, so next we're going to see on the left the learning community. Learning communities are part of QEP's Year One Engage. Let's take a listen in. All right, we're at that part of the story where we're about to fight this terrible civil war in the country. So we've talked about is it political, is it economic, is it cultural? What's the cause of the civil war? And remember, each argument has its own merits. It has its own research behind it. So, so now it's your turn. What do you think? Well, I clearly think it's economics. Ridiculous. It's race. What? What text? It, well, are you wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You all need to understand that there is a possibility that there is no right or wrong answer in this, mm -hmm. and that if it's supported by research, it's good enough. Right. For example, if you're just race it becomes too emotional, then there might be some other things to consider. So there's some fallacies in, in the argument. There. Think of the fallacies as well, okay? <laughs> All right, let's keep on moving. We'll go ahead and go back to admissions where you'll meet with your advisor and get registered for courses. Hi, my name is Nate. I'm an advisor here at Eastville College. Is this your first time meeting with an advisor? Yes, well, it's been a while. Well, I'm glad you're here. But today in this session, we can talk about degree auditing, uh, um, degrees that we offer, um, how to look at your GPA, how to plan out your classes, and also if you need to be referred to any resources that are available at the college. Um, but those are all the things that we offer here at Eastfield as an, an advisor. Wow, I didn't know advisement covered all that. Oh, no? Well, here at Eastfield, the advisors are split into teams where we help specific students. And we send out emails, and we do workshops, and we meet in the classroom as well. But we just want to make sure students know that advising is a resource that they can they can use beyond registration. Wow, I didn't know that. I guess there really isn't a reason why I shouldn't be able to encounter an advisor very easily. That is so true. It seems like every semester, student, all students are looking for an advisor. Well, I'm glad you came today. I just want to wrap up this advising session today. Just want to make sure you know, you can either come back anytime to set another appointment. Bye. 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 <laughs> I am so lost. Is there anyone here who knows the true meaning of engagement? Please. Sure. I can help you understand engagement. I'm Elizabeth from Admissions, and you're, you are? Oh, Drew. You're Drew. Andrew or Drew? It's just Drew. It's just Drew. Okay, Drew, I just want to share with you that your journey to engagement begins in Admissions with this check that a, a team member from the admissions will give to you. Now, the, the, the checklist is going to help you go through three different sections. Your connection zone, your progress zone, and your completion zone. Wait, wait, what is this, what is this about zone? Well, the zone is like a path to, to, to success to make sure that you're ready when it's time for you to enroll in your classes. So in the connection zone, what you'll do is apply for admissions, you'll set up your eConnect account, and you'll also provide us some records for your, your education. 
progress zone, you're going to show, go over and make sure that you understand where you are in your learning so that when you get in your classes, you'll be successful. Here in the completion zone, you're going to go through a fast orientation, see an advisor, sign up for your classes, and before you know it, you'll pay for your classes, got your ID, and you're ready for class. Wow, that's awesome. Well, I wish it was like this at all the other schools, especially <laughs> Richmond. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it takes. Thank you. Well, already. Sign me up. Civil War. I have to do this in order to get an A in this class for extra credit. Could someone help me do this? One moment, sir. I'll be right with you, okay? One moment? But the sign clearly reads, please interrupt us now. And I thought that's what I was doing. I can't, I don't have a moment. My class starts in two or three minutes. If I don't get this paper, Professor Nobles, I'm not going to get an A in this class. I want an A in Professor Nobles' class with someone in the library. Please help me! I can help you. You can help me? I, I can help you. Please. You, you might be late to class, though? Yes, ma'am. We wouldn't want that to happen now, would we? Not in King Noble's class. <laughs> I can help you get that paper printed. I can help you find that book to check out. We'll get you off the class on time. Great! And when you get there, you tell Professor Noble the library says, hey. We'll do. <laughs> Eastville College Library! Where student engagement is student empowerment! I've come to the right place! The library is awesome! <laughs> Okay, so I'm interested in a career in law enforcement. 
I've heard a little bit about it, but I still have a couple of questions, and I would like to know more information. We'll be more happy to help you. In the W building on the north side of campus, we have the police academy, which is hosted there, the director, Randy Stewart. Also, we have the criminal justice classes, which are hosted there, with the instructor, <coughs> Pastor Patterson, or Michael Santiago. I'll be more happy to introduce you to them. Here's my card. Come by my office in N112 next to the bookstore when you get a chance. I'll be more than happy to take you over there. Okay, thanks. I'll come right after class. All right, see you then. I just have one question. Is it any wonder that the student wanting to know about marijuana legalization was followed by the college police? <laughs> Matt, I think you might need some more remediation. So. Good morning, students. Welcome to our mega learning community where we have learning framework, development of English, and speech. So today, class, we're going to talk about one concept in the eight wise choices of successful students. One is employing interdependence. Jesse, can you tell me what is interdependence? Yes, I can. Interdependence, uh, it's uh, supportive relationships when others uh, support others. Kind of, yes, supporting others while... Others support you. Yes, good job. So class, who can tell me at least one strategy for arguing effectively? Oh, oh, I got it, I got it. Oh, yes. oh. Ain't it when we point out the common grounds? Isn't it? Yes, common grounds. <laughs> Acknowledging different viewpoints. Yes! So, now with the peer critique form you have in your hand, please turn to your base group members, exchange essays, and evaluate your peers' argument. And because I want my students to be superstar communicators, shooting three pointers from the bench. I'm going to teach you the principles of persuasion, showing you two classic yet meaningful infomercials, the Snuggie and Jim Wow. <laughs> According to Wikipedia, <laughs> occurs when students make a psychological investment in learning. They try hard to learn what school offers. They take pride not simply in earning the formal indicators of success, grades, but in understanding the material and incorporating it into their lives. Now, I'm not a huge fan of Wikipedia as far as research and academics goes, but this time I think they hit the nail right on the head. Today is my due day. I can pay my tuition. Can I get an extension? I'm sorry. This time we don't offer extensions. However, we do have a paper plan. You do? You really do? Oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Yes, ma'am. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Eastfield College. My name is Everett. I work in facilities. How may I help you? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll park right over there. And I was wondering if I'm parked in the correct parking lot because I'm looking for a state building. And my class starts in like five minutes. And I need to go home. I don't know where I'm going, so I need help. Like my class. <laughs> Look, looks like you're off to a great start. <laughs> <laughs> the, C, the C building is right away here to our left. Oh, okay. So could you walk me over there so I won't be like please? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, just give me a second. Let me, let me uh, touch base with my supervisor. <laughs> <and I'm done. laughs> Hey Michael, this is Jay. I was on my way to a hot call on W105. I encountered a student that's lost. Doesn't he needs to get the class right away. If you don't mind, I'm going to walk her right on over. <laughs> Please allow me to show you the way. <laughs> A study done by the American Life Project found that 83% of young adults ages 18 to 29 use social media on a regular basis. Nowadays, most researchers agree that knowledge not only exists in individual minds, but in the interaction between individuals. According to an article done in Computers and Education, such interactions support active participation, and, which is an essential element of student learning. Learners need to develop skills to share knowledge and learn with others, both in face-to-face -face interactions and through technology, including social media. Hey girl, what is up? Oh, what's up? You were my last class. You find me. Yes, I definitely need a friend in this class. I hate math. Girl, it's so boring. You're telling me it's like my second attempt, and I'm an English major. I don't even need to count. <laughs> Dude, what's up with our professor? I don't know. Look at him on his fancy little iPhone. It's like he thinks it's a real person. I think he's probably like updating his Facebook status or watching the Big Bang Theory. I'm going to go with Big Bang Theory yeah. because we all know mathematicians don't have friends. No. <laughs> not, even, not even on Facebook. No. Not even on Facebook. Good morning, class. Welcome to my math class. Did you know that Five out of four students report being apprehensive about math. <laughs> Sorry, that sucks. <laughs> One of my job is to alleviate some of those fears this semester. Now, did you get my email? Did you download my syllabus? Should have, because then you would know it's time to get out those iPhones, iPads, and tablets. <laughs> you see. All these years, I've tried to keep my students from email, surfing, gaming, texting, sexting, tweeting, <laughs> <laughs> Facebooking. But this semester, I surrender. <laughs> I shall embrace technology. So go to the link I sent you. In the email, it has the activities for the first week of class. Yes? Um, Mr. Do we need a Mind Math Lab access code? When I went to the bookstore, that's all I said I needed. What, yes. No book? No, yeah. No, that's all you need is my Math Lab. Oh. It's an interactive computer program available on the web 24 7. In it, you will find the homework problems, the chapter quizzes, the e book. <coughs> the chat room, and a whole lot more. Now, I want each of you to come visit me sometime during the first week of class in my office. I'll be there, except Tuesday morning when I'll be at the math spot. Oh, what, what's the math spot? Oh, I'm glad you asked. That is the location right here at Eastfield College.
college for free tutoring. I know I need that. We're going to go there momentarily. But first, I have an in-class activity. I want everybody to participate. Go to bit.ly slash math survey one and answer this question. After our time together this morning, I feel less anxious about my math class. Simply answer yes or no. Look at this! 110% of my students with <laughs> less anxiety have an infinitely great semester. And now, let's all go together down to the math spot in C201. Those are what we call hipsters. <laughs> yeah, they, 
They really don't like to read a whole lot. They have the attention span of five seconds. So in order to reach hipsters, one has to be hip. <laughs> Well, you're in luck, because I'm a hipster. <laughs> um, Dave, yeah. I have bad news for you. You're not a hipster. <laughs> <laughs> because you still proclaim that you're a hipster. Hipsters don't call themselves hipsters. Kind of hip, does that hip? I don't understand. Well, it's because you're kind of old. <laughs> to reach your target audience, why don't you have the target audience decided themselves? That's right. What we could do is have students design for students. How are we going to do that? I've got an idea. <laughs> yes. What we're going to do is we're going to get my design students to design for the hipsters. You know what? This sounds really important. We should go tell Michael about this. Yeah, I think we could get Innovator of the Year. It's a lot of work, though, so we should probably form a committee. All right. <laughs> all right, let's give a hand again to all our performers. demonstrate how they engage our students. We hope that these vignettes will help you uh, more fully engage with our lunch and post-lunch activity in the gym. And I remind you of our threat if you don't participate for our next convocation speaker. And to give us further details for lunch and post-lunch activities, please welcome our technology-enhanced, newly upgraded Sharon Cook 2.0. <laughs> Gutierrez have more to say. <laughs> <laughs> 